Hi guys, this is Jarrett Smith, Snowmobile Product Manager for North American Snowmobile Division. Today we've got an exciting blog. We have a friend here, uh, Chris Reed, is visiting us today at the office. Welcome, Chris. Hey, Jarrett. So we're out here in the shed at Yamaha Motor Canada. Got lots of cool sleds and stuff in the shed. And uh, what what brings you down today, Chris? Well, I'm actually here on a little bit of consulting business, but I saw what you're doing with the blog and I had to drop by just to congratulate you on taking the initiative because it's something I think since I left the company, you guys have been kind of hoping to see back. And I know it's not the Sled Talk blog, but your blog, it's new technology, it's a new look, and I think it's going to be really well received. Yeah, thanks. It's exciting. You know, we're trying to talk with our consumers a little more, kind of get that two-way street. We're trying to get more feedback and any, any advice or anything like that as we get into this new venture? All I can tell you is what I learned doing the blog, and you got to be transparent, you got to be honest with people, not to get defensive. You can't fix everything for everybody, but you've got a lot of information that you're privy to, and whatever you can share, uh, people really like to hear that, and I think it's a great opportunity for you to help communicate some of the background for these guys. Thanks. No, I think uh, that's a great point is where we can get that information to the consumer. So even small stuff, like we're standing beside a 2020 here, and we wanted to show you some of the changes that we make. So things like cold weather and extreme cold weather starting, we had some customers have issues with the relay. So for 2020, we actually have changed the relay on the Sidewinder models where it's a much higher quality relay, much more consistent starting. So it's similar like the Apex years back when you were in the, uh, in this role, when you had those kind of tough times with Apex starting, I remember the red relay came out. Can you talk a little bit about that and the challenges and what you did to get around it? Well, yeah, it's kind of funny. Just this, things change, but they don't change so much sometimes. But uh, having to, having the knowledge of where that relay is and why your sled won't start at minus 40, it's, it's a pretty good piece of information. Yeah. I'm sure you've got a better fix than that, but I used to have to put them under my armpit at times. Yeah, so similar to Apex, you know, we went to the red relay. Uh, this is similar, it's a much higher quality relay, so in our testing last year, we had much better results with regards to cold weather testing than those extreme colds. You know, those guys riding minus 30, minus 40. So uh, it, it does retrofit, go back to any Viper or Sidewinder model of all years up to 2020. So inside stuff like that, we hope to really pass on to the consumer. Any other tips or tricks that you got from the sled blog days you want to share? Well, I think it's just really important to let everybody know that you're going to be as helpful as you can, but there are limits to where you can go. You represent a big company, you're not the warranty department, you're not the consumer relations department, but in product development and planning, you've got so many interesting insights that you can share to a point, and yeah. timing is everything. But uh, just knowing that, uh, I'm sure the people that follow you will stick up for you if somebody else doesn't agree with what you're saying, or somebody has a second opinion have a thick skin, smile, and I'm sure it's going to be appreciated by thousands. Uh, thanks. You know, we're looking forward to it. There will be some challenges. It's only one of me, so we'll try and get as much stuff as we can to you guys and get current. But uh, thanks, Chris. It was great seeing you today. Well, thanks for stopping by. Okay. Well, thanks, Snow. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Thank you.